Okay, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We would be discussing our, I think this would be our last kind of quadrilateral, the kites. Okay, um, basically kites are, ano, it could be under a tra uh, trapezium being no pair of parallel sides, but uh, it would be somewhere also, ano, um, under, a, for example, a rhombus is under a kite still. Okay, kasi basically a kite would just simply have this property. Okay. Yung isang property niya would be first one or I'm not necessarily a property this is by definition a kite would have um, two pairs two pairs of adjacent congruent sides now based on the definition having two pairs of adjacent congruent sides of course you're familiar naman with the kite like this one ayan so, if you will create a kite, you will notice na itong long side should... I think medyo pangit yung gawa. Wait lang, let's change it a little bit. Okay. And itong the long side, say this is 6, this would be 6, and if this is 4, and this is 4. So, this would be a kite. And of course, if you're constructing a kite yan, ganito lang naman yung basic na itsura niya. Okay? And again, two pairs of adjacent congruent side. It's not the opposite sides yung magkabila, but it's yung magkatabi. It's the adjacent ones. The ones that are consecutive. Okay? So, that would be a, a basic definition of a kite. Okay? So, another definition of a kite is that we will also have ayan, we will also have one pair of congruent one pair of congruent opposite oops, sorry, opposite yan, opposite angles. So, in this figure, and same here, by just inspection, obviously, hindi ito yung parehas. Right? Ang magiging parehas dyan would be yung nasa gitna, the one in the middle of the non-congruent adjacent side. So, this one. Ito yung mag this would be the congruent angles. The pair of your congruent opposite angles. Okay? And that is by definition yung pro um how you will construct a kite. So, now let's go to the different properties. Actually, they, they, they are theorems na rin that we can um, say. Kasi, uh, but we are just considering them as properties kasi ano, we are claiming it to be true already. Okay? So, the first property that we will be discussing under a kite would be the diagonals are congruent. Ah, wait lang. Um, perpendicular pala. They are perpendicular. Sorry. Perpendicular. Yan. So, if let's try to create a kite. Okay, let's try to create a kite in our GeoGebra. Okay. Again, by definition po, ang kite can be constructed by having two pairs. Yan. Two pairs of adjacent congruent sides. So, let's check the measurement. This is 2.83, 2.83 adjacent magkatabi beside each other and then we have 4.47 and another 4.47 therefore we will have our kite again a kite cannot have um ito yung opposite congruent um opposite congruent sides like this one opposite tong dalawa to okay adjacent dapat and yung rhombus is somewhat a special kind of a kite so but we will not discuss that any further so yan ang uh, what is said what it is What's said in our first property is that the diagonals will, of course, be perpendicular to each other. So, if we will have this diagonal, of course, we're just like constructing a kite gamit ng dalawang ting-ting uh, using two um, sticks. So, let's try to find the measure. Uh, I mean, the angles, I mean. So, yeah. Let's find the angle. Yeah, this one. Finding the angle of this one, it's 90 degrees. Therefore, again, proving our point that a kite will have um, perpendicular diagonals. Okay? So, that's it. Uh, even if you will uh, deform the figure a little bit, it would still be 90 degrees. Kahit ibaba niya yan, yan. Here. Or maybe let's make this longer. Okay? It would still be 90 degrees. And this is a uh, rhombus, by the way. So, rhombus will always have will be a special kind of a ano, kite. Okay? So, going back, let's go now to property number 2. Property 2, 
um, it is stated here that the area the area of a kite is half the products the product of the diagonals diagonal so it, it simply states that if we multiply the the length of the diagonals or the measure of the diagonals and we divide that by 2 we will get the area of our um, kite so let's try to look at the figure so let's remove this um, lines na lang yeah. so let's try to find the area Okay, um, the area, yeah, this one. The area of this figure of our kite is 10. The area is 10. Now, let's try to look for the measure of our sec of our diagonals, okay? The measure of the diagonals. Yeah, so AD, uh, AC, I mean, is 5 and BD is 4. So, again, sabi daw dito would be if we multiply the diagonals, we will, and divide it by 2, we will get our area. So, let's check. 4 times 5 is 20, and 20 divided by 2 is 10, which is correct, right? Right, it's correct. Let's try to move this figure. Let's make a bigger kite. Yeah. So, our area is 18. Our BD is 4, and our AC is 9. So, we will have 4 times 9. Let me just... Uh, 4 times 9. The answer is 36. And 36 divided by 2, the answer is 18. Therefore, tama pa rin. Right, let's move this a little bit to the side, creating a bigger kite. Yan. So we have 10 times 9, the answer is 90. And 90 divided by 2, the answer is 45. Still, the property stands that if you multiply the diagonals and divide it by 2, that would be the area of your kite. Okay, the proof of that would be, of course, medyo, um, uh, what to call this, uh, may statement and reason tayong ginagamit. But we will not do that. We will only prove by example muna in our um, class. Okay? Uh, just uh, for us to establish the definitions and the prop the different properties of our given quadrilaterals. Okay? So I think that would be it when it comes to kites. Those are the things that you must remember. Firstly, let's have a recall lang. Okay? To construct a kite, you must have two adjacent congruent sides. 5.83, 5.83 adjacent magkatabi, 7.81 and 7.81 magkatabi congruent as well. Okay? And um, another thing would be supposed to be the, the angles here on the sides, they must be, let's have a check on that. Oh, oh sorry, mali. So let's have a check on that. Supposed to be that these angles must be congruent to each other. So, let's check. This one is 81.16, another 81.16. And again, supposed to be also that the angles above here should not be the same as the angles below. And so, this is, let's check. This is 79.61, uh, this is 118.07. Again, the property stands, okay, that our figure would be a kite. Okay po. And lastly pala, sorry. Yan pala. The 90 degrees here. Ayan. Oh, sorry. The 90 degrees. Ay, wala pala yung center. Sige. Let's have the center point here. Muna. Okay. And let's find the angle. Ayan. So, 90 degrees. Okay? So, regarding class, our um, diagonals, let's just uh, inspect Based on the figure, you will notice that one diagonal is divided into two. So maybe let's just add add that. Let's have let's have our property tree. The diagonals, uh, one diagonal, one diagonal bisects the other. One diagonal bisects the other. Okay, and we, uh, by inspection, we can just simply check. Ano ba yung nababaysek? And this would be it. Ayan. Let's check the measurement. Uh, this is, ayan, 5. And this is also 5. Okay? So, that would be it regarding our kites. Just uh, some basic things you need to know. Uh, no proofs yet. So, if you would have any other questions, 
or clarifications, um, you can ask me or view the video again. Just uh, another reminder, in, in geometry naman, uh, just, just like what you do as a kid, um, remember spatial recognition, okay? If you would see that it's somewhat um, congruent, then it's most likely to be congruent, okay? Most likely, but not, but you just have to prove it, okay? And this is what we are doing, proving by example that those things are most probably the same, bisected, this and that, okay? So thank you again for listening everyone and um, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.